Hey guys, this is Patrick Jensen here, and welcome to uh, the first speed painting with commentary. I'm super excited to do this for you, and um, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to try to paint up a Templar in about 30 minutes. So, here we go. <laughs> um, we're going to do this real time, and I'm going to try to talk about some of the techniques and ideas I'm thinking about as I'm doing this. Um, the idea kind of came to me when I heard Templar. Gosh, you know, uh, first makes me think of the movie Kingdom of Heaven, which I absolutely love. Um, and of course the uh, Assassin's Creed series is super fun and touches on that topic a lot. I remember in history class too, liking uh, learning about the Crusades and all that time period. Super interesting. For a painting, I was trying to think of something, um, a different side of it, I guess, would be maybe um, after the war or after a battle. Um, maybe we're in Jerusalem, but we're coming through a burning city or a burning village, and we've got one Templar on a horse kind of checking out the area and surveying the damage and and maybe we'll put a little church in the background um, to help maybe create some story elements of were they trying to save it or were they trying to escape or, or this or that so um, so I'm thinking of a street maybe coming down Something like this. Yeah. And then maybe what we'll do is try to get the background going a little bit. And then we'll start working on the figure. Yeah. Um, sometimes I let the painting kind of dictate, or the, the sketching kind of dictate what we're going to see in this case. I kind of have a plan of what I want to see in it. So it's just a matter of getting it to read as quickly as possible. Um, I also kind of want to make maybe make him uh, silhouetted. So I'm setting up the idea of that if he was just right here on his horse. And so, indicate a couple buildings. Maybe we'll go dark. Guy in there. Okay. Great. Cool. Got a fuzz brush with a little bit of noise right there. We're still in that background layer, so things like getting a multiply brush and making it really saturated, I can darken the darker values as well as saturate those up. Something I like to do. I can also do maybe a hard light. It's like that yellow, it's too red. Maybe, actually there, yeah, that's about good. Okay. Um, let's see, actually maybe wanna go do a little soft light, grab the blue, go darker on the top. Okay. Okay, there we go. We can also maybe do a little screen. That kind of adds desaturated highlights. Unless you really saturate your color, kind of create some fog in there. Grab that mid value, add a little bit more warmth. A little bit more warmth, take it off screen. There we go. 
get that transition do something like that all right five minutes all right let's work on the figure new layer i have a shortcut to do that um and i'm going to show you uh, not liner line brush cool and if we do a new layer we fill that layer with a dark color put a mask on it invert the mask then I'm gonna paint with white and black by hitting X to switch between them to work on the silhouette of the guy and the horse. So here we go. I kinda want him Helmet on, helmet off, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna try helmet first and go from there. This is the torso of the horse. We have his leg coming down. The other one's under. Okay, it's too big. Bring him down. Okay, maybe around there. Sure. Okay, continue. I'm just working on line right now, but I'm gonna fill this in just a sec and you'll see how it gets kind of fun. Body, get those legs in there. Maybe he's got a hand out. Just help with the. See, now that I have a sketch, I get a little block here and dial in this guy. There we go. So I'm hitting next to kind of cut into it and work on that edge and that leg will be coming in yeah something like that actually we're just gonna fuzz that up and worry about that later Get the nose in there yeah there we go okay cool Take that, I need to make him a little more grounded. Maybe a little bit longer in the torso. Something like that. keep going okay so what's nice is now we can paint into this guy yeah let's first get a shirt in there and you'll see how this kind of works got the thing maybe if we give a horse a little bit of a handkerchief coming around there great top planes okay um, that going okay his helmet we'll work, worry about his direction that he's looking later We're at nine minutes all right let's fuzz in some um, atmosphere
Cool. Background. I'm going to create his cross on the front of him, a new layer. Um, let's see. Set that to multiply. Cool. And let's get the horse one too, huh? All right, horse has got a half one. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got that. Okay, let's work on the city a little bit more. Um, square, vert, text. Um, we are on that. Okay, there we go. Decrease the opacity and block in as many buildings and stuff as possible. As we go back, maybe we squish this guy down. And we get a little perspective on it. Create some windows. Do pink. All right, 12 minutes. So the idea of this one is that the there's a lot of warm light coming from the ground, the burning ground, and the houses maybe get darker as we go higher. Um, let's do let's do a color burn. Sometimes color burn works to your advantage, especially if you use it real subtly. Subtly, yep, that's a word. Because it does increase saturation as it gets darker, which is kind of fun. All right, this guy's too big. Um, let's duplicate him, because I'm afraid to change him in case I don't like what I'm about to do. So, uh, so we're gonna select both those layers and bring him down. That's good. Maybe we don't want his head on the the middle of the uh, painting. So we're gonna go into that lower third there. All right, we gotta do some magic. Let's do some uh, channel mixer. Get some red, some green. Change this to red, red, green. Okay, invert that. And what that does is, it's kind of like color dodge and just adding light. And see, now I'm just painting into the, max, the mask to kind of bring it back in. All right. We're gonna do a new layer. 
um, screen. Fog all this in. Cool. Uh, new layer. Now I'm not worrying about layer structure anymore. Um, I really just want to get this in as soon as possible since we're at the halfway mark. All right. You know what? We're going to get a fun little liner brush. Not that one, this one. And you can see it's kind of fun. So we're going to use that and uh, get in some small details. Do something crazy. Is this gonna be good? church back there. Get them back up. Actually, there we go. Let's put them back in the scaled up. Let's see how see if we can make these guys work. Before the time runs out, let's see. Uh, 
Um, okay. Twenty minutes. Hmm. There's his face. And we are going to go ahead and Increase the res about there. Put him here. Cool, like it. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and okay, he's on his layer. We're gonna merge the background. Control Alt E with all those layers selected. Bakes a new one above it. Um, we are going to select the transparency of that. Invert the selection. Edit fill. Uh, content aware and that fills out the edges um, quickly which is kind of fun okay let's put him back on there um, let's go ahead and do a multiply he's murmur clip by the mask so I can go ahead and um, just affect him all right we're gonna go back to the background we're gonna do some hard light on the brush select the red and get this stuff into the reds. Okay, we're going to go normal. I want to go darker on the sky. Actually, let's do multiply. Get the green in there. Yeah. Because there's a color difference near his face, it's going to put more interest to him and what he's doing. Great. We're gonna do uh, some straight up painting now. Get his silhouette a little bit better. But I'm gonna paint on top of everything on a new layer because I don't wanna be worried about um, what layer I'm on now since we do not have much time to finish this up. So here we go. some red um, you know what I think we have time we're gonna do this with a little less texture um, whoa there we go just a little bit of texture and cool come on come on 23 minutes and let's go deeper red Cool. Come on. Cool. Put one on the horse. Because we lost it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Get some of that. Some kind of harness. Let's get some eyes in there. He has no head. And there we go. A little wider. Cool. It's kind of stylized. I like it. Ears. Ears are good. Gotta be able to hear. Okay. Black for the eyes. And about there, I think. There we go. I'm gonna go a little glint in the eye. Horse is crying. Poor guy. Okay. Ooh, a little bit more torso. There we go. And since we're on that top layer, we're just gonna quickly do this. Bring his hand out a little bit more. And give him a little wrist cuff thing. Maybe, oh, 
He doesn't have legs, does he? Okay. Let's see. There we go. And then we're just going to indicate some of this going on here. And that's good. We don't have to get too fancy with this. There is no time. 25 minutes. Cool. All right. We need some fire. Let's do it. Uh, new layer. Color. Let's do linear dodge on the brush. We'll do color dodge. And you can quickly put in some fire. And I'm smudging that. And there we go. Uh, in the windows. Okay. And then we'll hit the side of the house. Cool. And then we can oh, oh no. Don't do the type tool. Okay, there we go. Didn't mean to make that rock so prominent. We will fix that in just a second. Okay, enough of that. Normal. We are still in the linear dodge. We're going to go below that. Make a new layer. Remember, I have a shortcut to do that. F4 comes in handy. All right, and there we go. So sorry I was quiet for there in the middle. Wasn't sure if uh, this was going to pan out, but I'm kind of liking it now. So we are going to go ahead and finish this guy off and uh, get this posted as soon as possible for you guys um, thanks so much for watching hope you got something out of this one a lot of it was just straight up painting and then kind of um, seeing where it would go based off that uh, initial idea of making this guy come through the village or town or something and uh, let's get a lighter value come up to the top and grab that cool sweet indicate a couple buildings way back there let's go back to that color lot or linear dodge layer okay yeah great and then we'll actually create a little fire here Sweet. You know what? I think we have time for a little bit of clouds. And uh, we'll call it a day then. So, got a couple cloud brushes. That's one, a good one. And then we'll do a new layer. Let's do something like that. And we'll actually go a little bit more neutral with the cloud and into the greens. There we go. Just to kind of fuzz things together. I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. I'm just kind of sporadically placing stuff. And then, oh yeah, there we go. Um, seeing if it works. Grab some of the brown. We need our fuzzy brush. Oh, there we go. One more minute. And... Cool. I wish I could put more onto the horse and guy, but I just don't have time. So we are gonna just maybe hit that a little bit stronger. And then, you know what? New layer, set to hard light. You grab a real saturated, nope, hard light, saturated color. Oh man, brush tool, there we go. There it is. And you can just pop some of these into a glow, there we go. And we'll get his helmet glinting a little bit. There we go, oops, too much. Well, that's kinda cool. Well, there we go. And I didn't get to strengthening his silhouette much, but 
We are out of time. 30 minutes. There it is, folks. I think that's going to call it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, where's my signature? There we go. Bam. And let's put a uh, more neutral gray on the background. If you select a color and you have your paint bucket, shift, hit that, hit uh, the area outside your piece, and you can change the color of that. That's uh, something I like to do once in a while. All right, there it is, guys. 30 minutes, Templar, uh, heading through the village. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, I'd love to hear from you. Um, feel free to subscribe or share. And uh, looking forward to next time. Thanks again.